Hi all, so in today's lesson we are going to look at genders and articles in French. So as you know, French is split up between masculine and feminine nouns and then you make them plural by, by adding S generally. And so in this presentation, it really does explain um, how to use them. And you, we will do a quiz at the end just to check your understanding. We use genders and articles in French. Every noun in French is either masculine or feminine. The word you use for a or the depends on whether it's with a masculine or feminine noun. For a feminine noun, une means a and la means the. Une banane, la banane. For a masculine noun, un means a and le means the. Un portable le portable and if you have more than one thing then the le or la becomes les les pommes you do have to learn the genders of words but there are some patterns which will help you la mère mother and le père father the gender of the word is the same as the gender of the person Nearly all words borrowed from English, like le weekend and l'internet, are also masculine. Words ending in mon, like l'appartement, are masculine. Words ending in zion, like télévision, are all feminine. Words ending in ur, like voiture, are also feminine. La voiture. It is important to know if something is le or la, masculine or feminine and with these tips you can make a start so continuing on from that um as she explained words are either le or un uh, for the and un and they're either la and un for feminine and then for plural it's either les les or des for plural and then obviously you've got words such as le père, uh, which is dad, or le frère, which is brother, which is obviously masculine, even though it ends in an E, because sometimes uh, feminine words, you can tell if a word is feminine because it ends in an E. But obviously, if the word is obviously a masculine person, then it, it goes back to um, being masculine. Um, and so they also explain this part here, where the, depending on the endings, it helps you to decipher whether the word is masculine or feminine as well. So this is something you should copy it into your book. And if you need to copy it into your book, uh, just stop the presentation and, uh, and write this in and then continue on. And uh, they also spoke about words like internet, interne, which is masculine, uh, weekend is masculine and sandwich, because these are words borrowed from the English language. And here are some feminine. Again, I would suggest you stop this uh, video and write this into your book as well, because it will be very useful for next year. Um, or take a photo with your phone so you can memorize it. So then in terms of um, at the at the bottom, we have a quiz. So let's go through it. So if you need more time and I'm speaking too quickly, then you can stop the video guess the answer, and then check if it's correct. So the first question is something frère. So first of all, you have to ask yourself if frère is masculine or feminine. And then I want you to stop the video. I'm about to give you the answer. And the answer is le, le frère, which is the brother. So here we have a word that ends in sion. And as we saw, uh, any word that finishes in sion, is going to be, yeah, la, well done. Here we have this word here, it's L-E-S, which means lay. So L-E-S is pronounced lay, and that is plural because it has an S onto the le, and therefore we have to find a word from, from these three words, which is plural, and therefore like in English, any plural word in English ends in S, and uh, some words in French end in S, so the second one, haricot vert. 
Then we have a word here, the noun. If you look at the noun, um, this word you definitely recognize, it ends in an S. And so straight away, we know that the word is plural, along with the fact it's son. Son means are, super. So cats are super. So well done, you've guessed it. It's L-E-S, lay. If it was one cat without the S, it would be L-E. The answer here is lay. On this particular one, um, as I said, many words in feminine end in E, unless they're obviously masculine, like brother and dad. And so here, because the word ends in E, it's going to be feminine and it's going to be un. So that gives you a bit of an idea about the masculine and feminine nouns. If you go to bite size and you go to the French key state three section, it will give you all the information here that you can read through, uh, looking at plurals and looking at singular and feminine as well. For me, the most important thing you need to know is that words are masculine and feminine and knowing the difference about when to apply the le or the la or the un and the un. That for me is the most important thing for you to know right now. Don't worry too much about plural. It's something we will look at in year nine and in GCSE as well. Okay, have a very good day and I will talk to you later. Bye.